Hey everybody, Jesse here from Shopify. Uh, I'll be your host and presenter today for your for the WordPress and Shopify uh, presentation that we've got going on for you here today. Joining me is the wonderful Kat and Justin. They'll be your chat moderators uh, for today's presentation, taking care of your questions that you might have uh, as we go through. Uh, just before we get started, if you have any uh, issues seeing any video or if you have any troubles hearing any audio, be sure to go through and just restart the software or click on the link that you received in your email uh, to rejoin the webinar. That typically fixes up any issues you might run into uh, and allow you to view and see everything in full color. Cool. So let's get started. Shopify uh, is proud to have launched an integration with WordPress that allows you to create buy buttons for any of your posts and your pages. This allows customers to buy products without leaving your website in a way that is straightforward and secure uh, that you can take advantage of. By adding our plugin, you'll be able to have a seamless shopping experience for your audience, uh, while other e-commerce shop or plugins are designed to transfer your entire website into an online store. The Shopify e-commerce plugin lets you set up a WordPress shopping cart for a single product or for entire collections on for your Shopify store. The choice is yours. Uh, you do not need to have a Shopify, or you do need to have rather, a, a Shopify store to sell your products on WordPress. And if you're new to Shopify, selling on WordPress starts at just $9 a month with our light plan. You'll get access to the Shopify e-commerce plugin, as well as a wide range of other great features like the Shopify POS for iOS and Android, our app store, and our 24-7 support. So cool. So what are we going over today? Uh, we have our installation. So how to actually install the plugin onto your shop or onto your WordPress store. Uh, how to use the plugin. So how to add it onto your pages. How to uh, embed it as widgets on your sidebar. And then we'll go over a quick Q&A and FAQ uh, at the very end. Cool. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Uh, actually, let's. Yeah, let's go to the fancy let's get started screen first. Cool. So how do we get started? Uh, all you have to do to install the plugin is you need to download it from WordPress. We'll provide the link to this page in the chat, uh, but you just go to wordpress.org, find the Shopify e-commerce plugin, uh, the shopping cart plugin, and then click, click on the big red download version 1.05 button. There you go. And if you're watching the recording, this may be a newer version, but you just download it and it installs it to your computer and you're on your way. It's just a zip file. Uh, once you've got it downloaded, you can head to your WordPress admin and start the installation process. So I'm going over to my WordPress dashboard over here. Uh, to do the installation process in the left-hand navigation bar in your admin, you just want to head over to the plugins tab here and uh, hit the click on it right here on the left. And then go ahead and hit the add new plugin button in the top left corner. Uh, and then go ahead and hit the upload plugin button here on the top left corner one more time. This will bring you into the place where you can plug in your zip file for your WordPress.org site. You should go ahead and drag and drop it in here or go and choose the file from your computer and hit the install now button. I've done this a couple times, so it's number two. Great. There we go. So you've installed the plugin. We can go ahead and we can activate that plugin from here. Uh, but you can also, uh, to activate the plugin, you can also install it from this uh, page as well. Uh, you can go into your plugins tab on the left hand side and then under the install plugins you can go ahead and click on the activate button right here on the bottom left corner. That'll turn it on. Uh, if you didn't activate it initially, maybe you got busy, uh, you got control over that. So there you go. You've installed it, you've downloaded the plugin uh, and you're able to activate it that way. You're on your way. Um, so how do we actually start making use of the plugin once we've installed it and downloaded and done all that stuff? Um, to start actually making use of the plugin, all you need to do is either add a new page or a post, uh, and then uh, go ahead and hit the Add Product button that will appear there. So why don't we go through that process? So I'm going to go into my posts here and then choose Add New on the left-hand side. Uh, and give my post a title. Let's sell some stuff. And then you'll notice that since we've installed the plugin, the Add Product button uh, is here from Shopify. So I can go ahead and I can click on that Add Product button. Uh, if you've already logged in and authenticated your store, it'll show you your products right away as well as any collections that you might have available. Um, at this point, you may need to log into your Shopify account though, so just be wary of that. You just have to punch in your store and log in. Um, but once you've done that, you'll be able to go in and add your products. So we can go ahead and we can select our test shirt or whatever your product happens to be. Uh, and you can go and you can select product. It'll let you choose what type of embed you want to use. You can either embed it with the entire product image, the price, and the button, or you can just do the buy now button only if you'd like. Let's do the, the image and the button. 
and the price obviously, and then it just goes in and it plugs in the code that we need and it's embedded the product. Um, that's actually all you need. Then you can go through and you can format it however you'd like using your, your standard option that you have in WordPress. Just to show you guys quickly what that looks like, if you go into the preview option here on the right hand side, you can go and you can preview and see what that looks like. So here it is, we've got our picture, we've got our buy now button and then the price of it. If your customer wants to go ahead and purchase this on this page or post or however you have it set up, you can hit the buy now button there and it pops out our checkout, uh, which is customizable under our language editor. So you can insert this onto any page uh, or any, into any post or sidebar. And you'll be on your way. Um, just to quickly touch on the sidebar, uh, if you go into the uh, appearance section and then under customize, and just go ahead and leave it there. Uh, when you go and you add in new widgets, so if you go into the widgets tab here on the left hand side under your WordPress admin, and then let's say primary sidebar, you can do this on any sidebar, but we'll do the primary sidebar. You can hit add widget, search for the Shopify widget, click on it, and then it'll actually let you go in and add a, add a product here on the left hand side in the same way that we added the product for a post. And it loads up. There we go. So on the left-hand side here, you can now see that your product's embedded uh, in the sidebar widget if you wanna make use of that. So you have control over that. Um, cool. So there's the widgets, we've got that all set up. Um, just uh, as an FYI, uh, the uh, plugin can be used with any WordPress framework or theme. Uh, if you'd like to integrate it into a theme uh, you or your developer have custom built, we've open sourced the plugin. We're gonna pop in that link to the chat for you to check out as well. Uh, you can also use the buy button channel to embed products with HTML rather than installing the plugin. So if you uh, are making use of Shopify buy buttons already, you are able to take advantage of those as well if you want to do it just through HTML instead of making use of the plugin. Uh, and you can use that on any, any HTML embeddable page just by the way. And all of your shipping options are available uh, using the Shopify e-commerce plugin for WordPress. Uh, and they'll be the exact same as the one on your Shopify store. So you can set up all your shipping rates and everything there as well. Uh, to help you start selling on WordPress, we've actually teamed up with Themezilla, Themeify, and Ultralinks to provide you with these three beautiful customized WordPress e-commerce themes designed to be used with WordPress.org, the self-hosted version of WordPress. Uh, you can grab these new themes for yourself here. Uh, we'll include the links to those as well in the chat. Uh, we offer integrations with Hype, Simple, and Pulse, uh, all by Themezilla, Themify, and Ultralinks, respectively. Uh, and you can translate your buy button cart into a different language as well, just by the way. So on top of being able to integrate it into any theme or one of these other themes that we help design it with, uh, you can go in and translate your buy button uh, cart into a different language by changing the copy with these data attributes that we're gonna link into the chat as well. Uh, there's a doc for you to how to do that as well that we'll go in and include. So there's a ton of customization options you have available to you using this. Uh, and you can also change the language for your checkout page by editing your checkout settings in your Shopify admin. We'll also drop a link to that guide as well. You can go and you can change all the wording that shows up uh, on your little pop-out card here. So you don't have to stick with just our default stuff here. You can go in and put in whatever you'd like. Cool. All right, so that just about covers it. Uh, we're gonna go over a quick moment here for some Q&A. Uh, and as well as I just wanna quickly go over some of the resources that we have available. Um, our Shopify manual, I've mentioned this a couple times, docs.shopify.com uh, has resources on everything that we've talked about here today. Be sure to check it out. Uh, goes over everything uh, about what we talked about here today as well as everything in Shopify. So you can pretty much learn everything uh, that you ever want to hear, learn about in Shopify through this tool. Uh, we also offer 24 seven dedicated support available at supportshopify.com by email, one triple eight Shopify by phone, uh, as well as by live chat 24 seven. We wanna hear from you, we wanna hear about your stories, so feel free to share with us and get in contact. Uh, and uh, we also offer these webinars as well quite often. Uh, we do them pretty much daily, 60-minute uh, webinars on how to set up your store. Uh, we offer POS webinars and a whole bunch of specialty webinars as well that can help you learn more about Shopify in general. Cool, um, so we're gonna move into a bit of QA. Uh, so just keep your questions coming in. Uh, in the meantime, just while we're waiting for those to fill up, I, I wanna touch on a couple quick FAQs uh, that we do get pretty often. 
biggest one of the biggest ones are are variants still available for your product? So have you if you've set up your products with different variants and options like colors and different sizes, are those available? Uh, the Shopify e-commerce plugin does allow your customers to select different variants for your product. Once products are added to your cart, your customers will be also be able to adjust the quantity of their purchases as well. So you have control over both variants uh, as well as quantity. You're not limited in that regard. Uh, also, a big one that we get is what's the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org? Uh, WordPress has two offerings. WordPress.com is for websites built in their platform and hosted by WordPress directly. So if you log into an account on WordPress.com, that would be the WordPress.com system. WordPress.org is software that you can actually download and self-host and, and operate on your own website. So if you have your own hosting plan or ho own hosting package that you're making use of WordPress on, that would be WordPress.org. Uh, this integration, so the, the integration we've touched on here today, is made for WordPress.org as WordPress.org allows the installation of custom plugins, which is how our offering operates. So you need to be uh, using the custom hosted solution like the software WordPress.org to make use of this tool. Cool. Um, so we'll accept a couple questions from the chat. Uh, and if you have anything else, let us know. All right, guys. Cool. Uh, so that pretty much covers it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned a lot about WordPress and how to make use of it for your store. Uh, we really appreciate you guys for joining us. And hopefully you learned a lot. I know I had a great time presenting in front of all of you. And have a good one. Thanks for coming out.